Hi uh, guys, welcome in. Uh, Smallies here. Uh, just a quick little update. I did just change brand from Lingers to Smallies. Um, hopefully this doesn't affect uh, anything too much, but it was something what I was wanting to do for a little while. Um, you guys are awesome. Um, I appreciate all the support and that what you guys have been showing me the last few months and hopefully it continues. Um, I just want people to have fun and enjoy uh, the games that we all play and love, you know. So um, let's jump into it. Let's um, <clears throat> let's jump into the Might DPS here. So we got Blast Adapter. I got Neo Venom Boost. I've got Escalate Might, Berserker in my back, Penetrating Strikes in my chest. We've got Restorative Hand Clap. Um, in my legs and then tumbler master and max damage in terms of my artifacts i'm running strategist trans and the quizlet uh we've got alfred box uh a uh, uh, supply drop a buff trinket and my blackout uh or what will strike as i'm a corrupted lantern um so yeah let's let's jump into the skill shall we so in terms of skill i've got lightweight strike i got ram I got Impact, and we got Light Blast, New Venom, and Exabyte Robot Sidekick. Um, so we actually hit Lightweight Strike, and then we hit Ram, and then we do Impact into Light Blast, into the guns, into a Ram, and then we clip that Ram with a Light Blast. Uh, in terms of my skills, how they're set up, obviously Super Speed, we go down to the Restraints here. Uh, iconic powers I have my hard light shield my robot sidekick beams if I need them near venom and uh, super strength and then in terms of stats we take powered we take the super powered we take uh, critical attack chance critical attack damage and then I go straight into might and power and then the rest goes into precision and yeah that's pretty much it so let's uh let's jump into our rotation here. so rotation we go lightweight ram we go impact into beams, into the guns, into a ram, into a light blast, and it'll literally just rinse and repeat. As you can see, we just hit a 2.2 mil off the bat. I think the most I've ever seen now, this is like 27 currently because um, I'm missing a lot of stuff. And I'll explain what I'm missing. But yeah, we got about 2 5 there. I'm, I'm not going to go into it too much because I'm in a bit of a rush today. But yeah, I think the most I've hit is about 2 7 currently with my situational, with my, with my stats and uh, what I have on currently. Because we're missing a lot of might due to these augments not being level 28. Okay, so take that into consideration. But I mean, that was a solid 2.5. Just just there, you know, solid 2.5. Um, in terms of my allies for my, my DPS, we're taking Superman, General Zod, and then we take Stag. That's literally what I'm running. It's just a one bar build. That's all I'm doing. Uh, I don't switch during raids and that. If you wanted to, um, you could probably um, drop out that for that, maybe. Um, that's probably what I would do. And I'd probably drop RAM for clap. And then I'd probably just go about my business like this uh, for a single target. I'll do one, two, three, into a beam, into a light blast, one, two, three, and that's literally probably what I'd do. You could run um, Grasping Hand as well, Grasping Hand would be a pretty solid one too. Um, personally, I just, I use my one bar build, 
um and that's just how i get down because i'm lazy and i don't want to don't want to be switching in terms of our controller we are running birds of blitz this is from our um well in fact let's let's start over here um so obviously we got replenishing adapter we've got supercharged uh, group shielding for our supercharge we've got escalating replenishing procs for our neck uh, for our back, it's Berserker. For our chest, Penetrating Strikes. For legs, Hand Clap. Um, for our boots, it's Tumbler Master. For our hands, it's Max Damage. You could go Regenerative Shielding here if you wanted to, but I choose for the extra additional damage just to help out with the group. In terms of my artifacts on the controller, we are BOP, Comlink, uh, Amulet Rao, and a Brand of Hecate. My artifacts are... Uh, nowhere near where they want to be um they just i i make do with what i've got i mean when i'm controlling people people typically aren't out of power normally so you know i do my job pretty well um in terms of the face we do take the old elite face from uh, dakota city on our dps and our um controller and then obviously you buy shock to the system um uh face mod this will give you additional uh, might or additional vitalization. And it actually is more than the current mask. So take that into note too. Um, so yeah, um, that's pretty much the gear and that covered. Let's go back into loadouts. So obviously we've got Birds of Blitz. This adds all three debuffs at once. Um, just from a click of a button, that's really solid. Obviously Blood Moon brand. Um, this allows to do damage over time. Um, plus, if you do the execute of it, it will do additional damage. Plus, it restores three group members of power. So, it's another power dump. So, I've got two power dumps by using Brand of Hecate, which is really, really solid. And then uh, we take Lightweight Strike. This gives our supercharged generator. Um, this just allows me to get my group shielding up a little bit quicker, which is super nice. You're wondering why I'm running Hard Light Shield reason why I run hard light shield is because light barrier is just really not that great. It looks great. It looks phenomenal. But realistically, light barrier isn't that strong. Even with like 20k dominance, if you spec pure dominance, hard light shield will still be a lot stronger. I don't know why that is. It just is. So therefore, I use hard light shield. It's just easier. Um, obviously, we take recharge. This is our normal power dump um this just allows me to dump my power plus with the allies what we're running we get a buff from that so that's really good and then we have group shielding as our supercharge so when i when i do my power dump as you can see we got zod's buff uh, as we're running zod so in terms of allies i'm taking satana she will daze the enemy but she also reduces the damage output um for 12 seconds so that's super nice um obviously the higher she gets uh the more stronger that debuff will be mine's only at nine percent because she's only at affinity six um and then i take black adam this guy will get swapped out i've said this previously um death metal batman with the black lantern um once he's up to 10 i'm gonna swap him out for black adam and the reason why is because you know where it says uh, the controller debuff drops a pull and restores 4% power. That 4% power gets way up. Like, I think my mate Top's got it at like 6. Uh, well, no, not 6. I think he's got it at about 7 or 8. And it's already at like 15%, right? So it goes up quite a lot. Um, plus the cooldown gets reduced. See where it says cooldown 80 seconds. That actually gets reduced. And then obviously the maximum hill goes up too. So yeah, this this guy for a controller for harder content for elite content and elite plus this is very very nice for a group. Um, even survival modes, uh, I, I would recommend getting it for. So yeah, we're gonna be working on him. Um, but obviously Black Adam for the supercharged generator that's always solid. Um, so we take him currently because he's pretty good. As I'm getting 20% from him. So, yeah. And then we take Zod. We take the Phantom Zone Touch. Uh, this allows me to, when I use my power dump, it gives Might users 2% Might. And it gives Precision users an extra Precision 
one percent uh, precision um, but it does decrease my vitalization so like if you look here right so I'm at 103 vitalization okay and now if I dump this and then we look again we're at 102 so I've lost a thousand thousand vitalization from that power dump which is absolutely nothing it, it's so minimal it's so worth running um bear in mind my my zod isn't that high he's, he's literally level seven he's got three more levels to go and i think the mic goes to about four or five percent i could i think it goes to about five percent i could be wrong but it is what it is we're on a time scale here because it's uh shutting down time in half an hour while i'm doing this video and why it's a little bit rushed but that's pretty much it man like obviously we debuff weapon attacks brand of hair cake you can break that to get the the big power dumps um you know we got the supercharged gen and then we power dump and then yeah you know how to troll <laughs> that's pretty much it man that's pretty much my hard light loadout um i hope you guys enjoy it go and try it out for yourself i'm having a blast with this power i'm i'm actually really really enjoying hard light so i'm probably going to be hard light for a little while because I'm really enjoying being hard light again. And I've always liked hard light. I was originally a hard light user back in the day when it was all jump clipping and stuff. You know, like I'm talking like like way back in the first years of this game being, being a thing. You know, as soon as hard light came out, it was all jump clips and that. I loved it, you know. But um, yeah, it's quite nice. It, it, it's enjoyable to play again. So I've been enjoying it. And that's the main thing is to have fun. So have a good one, take care, enjoy the build, give me a thumbs up, give me a like. I do stream on Twitch, um, so come give me a, f come come check me out, come check me out, come over, come have some fun. We do play this game, we play other games. I'm more of a variety streamer, so I'm bouncing around everywhere. We're playing survivals, we're playing shooters, uh, we're playing uh, fantasy games, MMOs. Yeah, just yeah, have fun. That's the main thing. Have a good one. Enjoy the rest of your day. I'm out. Take care.